In Japan, it's estimated that there is about one vending machine, Ji Hongki, per 23 people throughout the country. That's a lot of vending machines. It made me wonder, what happens to all of the old ones? Because they're constantly being updated. Well, we've got a partial answer. There is one man who runs a tire shop, and in his part time, he began a collection, a collection of vintage vending machines. Primarily from like the 70s into the 80s, the, the late Showa period here in Japan. It is called, confusingly, Rat Sunrise. I don't understand that one, but my wife and I are here to explore. None of these vending machines are still serviced by the companies that manufacture them. So where do all of these meals come from? Well, the guy that owns these and refurbishes them employs just as many cooks and technicians to keep all of this running as he does running his tire shop. Are you in the mood for fish? How about 800 yen for some vending machine fish? Oh my god, they still make candy cigarettes. I had no idea. Kids have their choice of uh, Roku, six different candy cigarettes. It says that it supports my non-smoking. So it's gotta be healthy. Mm. Here's some hot snacks. We see some karage fried chicken, but look at this. Takayaki, you could get octopus balls here. Out of the vending machine. 300 yen. This is the first time in Japan that I have seen a drink this big. A one liter bottle. I think I found the ultimate. American popcorn. American popcorn for just 150 yen. And technically I could get barbecue or choco flavor or whatever this is. But I'm going to go with the traditional salt and, and double check because I do know what American popcorn is supposed to taste like. So let's see. Yeah, it's playing some music quietly. American music. I'd recognize it anywhere. Figured I'd enjoy a quick smoke while I wait for that popcorn. Mmm. Menthol-licious. like popcorn. It tastes like salted popcorn, just a little chewier than I'm used to. It's not very crisp, but it tastes like popcorn. One thing I'll say for the American popcorn, it actually, none of it's burned and it all seemed to get cooked. So they figured something out right there. If I head out onto the street by the just chain of vintage vending machines, we've got some newer ones, but the examples that they put in are, are still vintage. So everything is still themed here. Very cool. Down this hall is a second whole row full of even more vintage vending machines. There's just so many here. It's, a, it's an amazing little sightseeing stop in the middle of nowhere. Every vending machine is fully stocked. This one has what, a few cups of uh, pudding, it looks like. I'm not sure how well these are showing up on camera, but these are chocolate covered bananas. And we can see that they are being chilled to a nice, pleasant minus 22 degrees Celsius, and that they are retailing for a fairly reasonable 350 yen. Got all sorts of ice creams, which are fairly modern, but the machine itself, definitely vintage. Uh, look, as little as uh, 140 yen for a nice little treat. Oh wait, there's one that's even less, 100. You know how there are times where you just need a battery? Well, fortunately, 
Mitsubishi has you covered. I don't know if that's even showing up. Let's, uh, there we go, Mitsubishi. We can get some batteries here. This one is a toy machine, which has all sorts of little uh, flipper paddle type games. Saka. I don't know what they are. Baseball. Go Hanshin Tigers. I would love to know how many people in this area come here for lunch because this is obviously stocked with all sorts of great ramen noodle dishes. Uh, 200 yen or so, totally reasonable. See if it worked. Hey, great success. It's dusty. It's dusty. You're right. This is a toy vending machine, and okay, so we've got some modern Detective Conan stuff. A gun that would never fly in America because that looks surprisingly real. Some really kinky handcuffs. Uh, apparently, an ID for a cat that's a real bad boy. Then you've got things like masks and stuff. And look, for 2,600 yen, you can actually get a whole model kit. So they've got a few good toys. Got an Ultraman mask there. All sorts of, well, Kamen Rider. Just great stuff. This just gave me all of my money back, plus whatever the toy was. So even though that one is advertised as 40, I put in 40, it gave me back 40 and this, which is just a cardboard truck. It says everything from some candy to some cardboard cars that I would think have candy inside them, knockoff Lego, and even something pretty modern, spy family candy. Juice boxes. Can't go wrong with juice boxes. We've got a couple of all-purpose vendors here. And I have to imagine these used to have sandwiches, but now they have little kids' toys. This is a much more modern vending machine, and apparently it's endorsed by Asian Austin Powers. Some modern Dachapon. A lot of construction behind us. No idea. And sake. Well, wow. 120. 120 yen for sake? That sounds good. There's several uh, Coke and Pepsi machines throughout. That's cool. But what's really interesting is seeing that you can literally get beer. I have no idea how they would police this so that underage kids aren't getting this beer. Uh, no idea. Oh, it's because now that I read it, it all says non-alcoholic. Non-alcoholic. Do I get the ham and cheese sandwich? Oh, so appetizing. Or do I stick with Mr. Burger? I think we'll go with Mr. Burger. Yep, that's hot. Up sweet this thing. Just see what's in it. Oh, that does not look super Yay! appetizing. Looks like McDonald's. <laughs> Tastes very bready um, and oniony. <laughs> uh, I, I can barely taste the meat. Aww. It's not bad. It's just very small. It's fine. It's fine.